Today I'm heading into the office because uh, today it's actually a zero barbecue day. I'm just heading my way to take the subway right now. Hopefully the subway is working properly today. Sometimes the subway just stops running. I just missed the train. Oh, now I have to wait for another one. Okay, another one is in one minute. I need to be in the office by 10 o'clock because I'm leading the planning meeting and our sprint review. So hopefully I can get myself in the office by 10. Organizing, so sometimes you have a new kind of working environment. Oh, thank you all for coming. Mainly just wanted to. No, no real update. It's one of the Uber Eats night. Today, the company event was very tiring and I was talking to my colleague and we walked from where the company event was to my place. And that was a two hour walk. But I think we had really good conversations. I was asking the engineer from my team a lot of questions around how to be a product manager. I was always very worried and concerned around do I really need technical skill set to become a product manager? So that was really fun. I think building relationship with your team is so important and there's many ways of building relationship with the team and sometimes you just have to, you know, spend time with them and talk to them. It doesn't have to be work related. It could be something about your personal life. I know there are debate around should you share too much about your personal life with your colleagues. For me, I think if you don't get into the deeper personal level, it's really hard to build relationship. I don't mind sharing my personal life with my teams if um, they are nice people because I do know that from my previous role, they are really just not nice people. So when you share a personal story with them, they tend to spread around and those are scary. I am hungry. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. I also made this. Mm. A while back, a lot of people actually DM me on my Instagram asking me how I write product requirement document. I did a mini walkthrough on this video if you are who are interested. For product requirements, I normally include what product we are actually going to build and why are we building it, what are the design that might potentially look like, and what are some of the acceptance criteria for the engineering team to take it all and actually start building it. One of the tools that I'm recently using that actually helped me with writing product requirements faster and this tool is called product monkey so how product monkey works is that you can just upload a design of the product that you are going to build you can also integrate with figma as well and this is an ai tool will detect the design you uploaded and auto generated all the acceptance criteria and product requirements documents then you just need to add the final document that the ai generated that you need and ta-da you're done you can just export it and then put it into jira the engineering team can and take it away and then start building it. I think this tool helps me a lot because I can write PRD faster and also I just want to call out there before I transition into PM I don't really know how to write product PRD especially acceptance criteria I feel like I knew how to write it but I don't know how to write it properly and this tool actually breaks down how people can write it so if you are an aspiring product manager who are looking to break into this space I will highly highly recommend you to try to work on portfolio and write a product PRD because this is something that you're gonna be doing on a day-to-day -day basis when you're actual PM. Ever since I've started seeing therapists, I've always wanted to heal my inner child. Healing inner child is a continuous journey in life because as we grow older, all the memory and trauma get piled up and it takes time to be healed, seen, loved, and understood. I sign up for the Heal Your Inner Child Retreat at Excellent, 
where each day we go through different meditation and inner self-discovery to understand our emotions and how our emotions and mind connect to our physical health. Working in tech could look very glamorous, but you could also be in high stress. People might make really good money in tech, but forgot the importance of happiness. If you ever feel sad, exhausted, or lost, remember to take time to relax and allow yourself to find you again.